guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're bringing you guys episode number two of Pack Squads. And as you guys can see, uh, we are on a new account. We're starting fresh in Division 10. I looked back at a lot of the comments, and you guys were saying, you know what, just start back in Division 10. It'll be a lot easier. So I took your guys' suggestion, and we'll build it from the ground up. So basically how it's going to work is, once this team reaches Division 1 or wins the Division 1 title, we'll basically scrap this series and then we'll start a new one. Maybe Ovi's Hut or I'll do like a Your Ultimate Team, something similar to that. But right now, we are starting fresh in Division 10. we got a lot of games to play, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Anyways, I transfer over just about half a million coins. I will transfer more over if we do get like some crazy win streak and we buy like seven or eight gold premium jumbos but so far it's looking good i transferred over all the players onto the team and uh, we're basically ready to go i also put in the new strategies so if you guys want me to make like a strategies video you guys can let me know in the comment box below if you want to see that type of stuff anyways let's get right into the offense here chris Kreider, richardson and reeves on the first line on the second we got slepeshev lasan hoffman uh third we got zahara chuck packet and a burglar as well as on the fourth oppenheimer lemasari and wong so if you guys have some suggestions for lines as well you can let me know um any line suggestions but going on to the defense here we got seidenberg we got frank Kuz, schneider jackson party dunn and theobald so our team has played a couple of games just to kind of warm up in division one i guess but uh, we're starting fresh let's get right into the first game here let's see if we can win Okay, guys, so the first game of the episode, and we're facing a Dallas fan. He's got Ribeiro, Hoodler, and uh, Johnny Goudreau on his first line. So, uh, right now, we are rocking the Leafs jerseys. Uh, I think I totally forgot to transfer over the jerseys, but uh, if I open up some more packs, I will go ahead and uh, switch the jerseys up. But right now, pretty good start. Let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there it is. Chris Kreider off the post and in. But, oh, man, I just feel kind of bad playing Division 10. I mean, my team is not that good, but the skill gap is just ridiculous right now. I just feel like, although I'm out playing him, I just feel kind of bad just skating around him in circles. So, anyways, it's one to nothing. Luckily, there's only a few games in Division 10 we have to play to get to the next division, I guess. So, let's get this game uh, let's not lose a goal here. Yeah, we'll keep it going here. Let's see if we can uh, score some more goals. Oh my goodness. And I give up a goal to him. Alright, he ties it back up one to one. I gotta play a little bit more smarter. I don't know. It just feels like once I'm in Division 10, I don't want to play like a Division 1 player. I just feel kind of bad. Alright, still, it's second period, five minutes left. Let's see what we can do. What? Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Reeves? Oh my goodness. Try to pass it across to the left winger, and he just shoots it through the five hole of the goalie. Like, I was literally aiming my left stick. Ah, oh, alright, alright. I, I just kind of gone to the wrong position there and now we're losing two to one we gotta get that goal back all right so not the greatest second period <laughs> look at that he's caught back up in stats all right this is really bad i gotta get that goal back try to win this game salvage something there it is get the cross crease going i just want to tie the game back up at least that's just a little frustrating but we got the goal six minutes in Let's try to get that lead at least. There's the goal off the boards and came right back out to who was that? Slepishev? That was my third line uh, right winger. I, I don't remember who he was, honestly. These guys are probably going to be replaced very soon. Burglar. All right. Burglar. Dario Burglar. Off the boards and out. I just beat Bernie. I thought I'd just shoot it, and it does beat him. So, 3-2, to two, 8 minutes left in the third. Oh, what a goal! The puck chop right to uh, Lasan, and he tucks it in. That was a nice little pass, a little chop pass. But, uh, I mean, this is Division 10. Not going to uh, toot my own horn here, but... Anyways, 
Third period, 47 seconds left. I'll probably fast forward to the end of the game. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I I'm just shooting on that. I, I actually wasn't trying to score a goal there, but Chris Kreider gets the goal, and we make it 5-2, to two, and that should be the end of the game. And really, I'm just kind of looking forward to the games after uh, Division 10 because right now, we're, our team is going to get so good in the next like few episodes. It's going to be ridiculous. Anyways, we win with a score of 5-2. to two. Let's take a look at the stats, and then we'll go ahead and buy our first 87.50 pack. All right, game stats here. 31 and 19 of shots. 9 minutes, 41 seconds. Time on attack to 6 minutes and 36 seconds. As well as the three stars. Lasan getting two uh, goals, giving him the first star. Dirty Ribeiro for him getting two, uh, the second star. As well as Chris Kreider getting the third star. Getting uh, two goals in that game. I'm just butchering up these uh, sentences here. Anyways, let's go ahead and buy the 87.50 pack. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so let's open up this first 87.50 pack because we are on a one game win streak. If we can win the next one, we can hopefully buy a gold premium jumbo. And that's really going to improve our team like dramatically. So, let's see what we get in this 87.50 pack first. Get this opened up. See what we get. Hopefully we get like a good... I mean, we just need depth players, so whatever I get in this pack, I can use. And this one, we're going to get Roman Polak. We got the Toronto uh, pack here. Polak, Fraze, and Spooner. All right. That's going to be exciting. We got a St. Louis Blues uh, jersey as well as a New Jersey Devils um, logo. I guess you guys can let me know in the comments whether you want to like vote on a jersey or something like that or if I should just stick to the Toronto Maple Leaf ones. You guys can maybe let me know. Uh, how you want me to choose the jerseys and stuff like that. So, anyways, let's send these guys to our collection and we'll add them to our team. Alright guys, so we're back on the team. I slotted in all the players that we got from that pack. And as you guys can see, we have two new centers. We got Fraze. Uh, he's playing alongside with Hoffman and Slepeshev. As well as Spooner. is playing alongside with Berger and Lamasari. I took out a couple guys like Packet and uh, Zaharichuk, I think, on the left wing. Those guys are gone. I decided to move out Lamasari from that center fourth line spot. Put him on the third line left wing and it definitely fits a little bit better even though the chemistry is absolutely horrible. So uh, also we did put in Roman Polak. He is now playing on the first line. Right defender. The only right defender we have on our team right now. And he's playing alongside with Seidenberg. And I basically moved down everybody else that was on uh, the right defensive spot. So anyways, let's get into the second game of the episode here. Let's see if we can win this game. Alright, so the second game of the episode here, he's got Dirty Ribeiro as well, uh, Ennis and Haglin. So a couple of speedsters. I don't know, what's with Division 10 and people using Dirty Ribeiro? I don't know. He's got some nice players. He's also got Fowler, uh, Seth Jones, so he's definitely not having, he doesn't have the worst team. Alright, so anyways, let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, I thought he was going to go for the cross crease, but he just went for the snipe. And just like that, we are down one to nothing. I think that was Tyler Ennis who scored him that goal. So let's pull it back out our first line here. See if we can get that goal back. Oh man, that was just bad defending by me. I kind of bit too hard and I couldn't go back. And uh, I just couldn't stop. It just done kept going. And I, I was beat right there. Nice shot by him though. All right, one to nothing. Let's keep it up. Come on, Slepeshev. Uh, drag it back. Pass it back to Freeze. Oh, come on. All right, there was some nice passing plays there. Just couldn't get through with a shot. And now he's down with two men. So we have a two-man advantage here. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. Oh, man, just Slepeshev. Way too slow. He's definitely going to be one of the players that is going to be gone by Division 9. Hopefully. Anyways, we'll keep going here. Let's see if we can score on this two-man advantage. There's the goal, just kind of waiting out the defender and the goalie. And who was that? That was Hoffman who tucked that in. And we tie it back up 1-1. One to one. Alright. Anyways, let's keep going here. We've still got a lot of time in this game. Make sure I don't get too cocky. Oh, that's just too easy. Too much time and space. And Chris Kreider jukes out the goalie. I mean... I could have passed it across and maybe did a, did a cross crease there, but Kreider just too much space. Give him the goal. 2-1 to one now in the second period. Oh, 
Oh, what a bunch of passing plays. That is like the definition of like a set breakout. That's what I'm talking about. Three to one, nice passing plays. Oh, we tuck another one in. Let's keep it going. Oh no, a slapper from the point. And it just beats uh, Frank Kuz there, and he makes it three to two. Oh man, uh, some bad defending by me. I could have definitely played a little bit better there, but Patrick Hornfist, that was just a nice shot. Yeah, poke checking just out of position. I don't know where any of my defenders were. Maybe because I, I put it on tight point. Should probably switch that up back to collapsing. So, anyways, three to two. We gotta get another goal back to get that insurance marker. All right, so second intermission. I forgot to show the first intermission stats. I just totally skipped out of the menu, but there it is. 10 to 10 in shots, seven minutes time on attack to four minutes and 52 seconds. So, I mean, he's getting more shots than that, but we're still leading three to two. I, I think the stats don't really show how well our scoring chances are, but let's keep it going now. Still uh, 20 minutes left for the third period. Oh, Spooner's got some speed. Come on, beat him, beat him. Five hole. Yes! It snuck by. <laughs> and that guy's, I think he's had enough of that. Oh, he gets, we get the rage quit. I mean, there's no special prize for that, but, oh man, I can't believe that one in. I shot a five hole, and then maybe he poke checked it in? Don't, uh, maybe we can look at the replay here. All right, Spooner had the puck. Uh, can, can we slow down here? Oh, just off the guy's skate, Klingberg. All right. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this game. 11 to 10 shots. Unfortunately, we can't look at the three stars because he did quit out the game. But we get to open up a 17,500 packs. Same as two 8750 packs. And we'll go ahead and buy that pack now. I'll meet you guys there. Oh, baby. All right. The 17,500 pack. I'm pretty excited about this. I mean, this is going to fill up seven players on our roster. Unless we get a duplicate or something like that. But... Let's go ahead and purchase this out. Uh, but before we open it, just before we open it, I want to quickly show you the team of the week that we can possibly get. Uh, of course, there's a special pack that's out. We can get a Jumbo Joel Thorn right now. Just imagine having him on the team. David Back is pretty good as well. There's a team of the week, of course. So lots of stuff to pull. Let's see if we can get any of those guys. So let's open up this pack. Let's see what we get. All right, seven rare players. Or not seven rare players, but seven players. Come on, show us something juicy. Uh. <laughs> oh god all right so definitely no uh play of the game jumbo joe thorn there uh foline folin uh terry uh grigorenko ristolainen mitchell koliakabo not even an 83 overall player in that pack i mean 2000 coins don't exactly need that no players at the back but we will keep some of these consumables for later use uh i will i can use the change team new jersey so let me see if there's any new jersey players here Koliakabo, that's not a New Jersey player. A lot of uh, Colorado players, but that is pretty good. A lot of right defensemen, left defensemen, centers. Uh, we can definitely use those guys on the team. So let's go ahead and send these to the collection. I'll meet you guys back at the active roster. Okay, so just a final team update before we end off this episode. But look at that. Our team is looking a lot better after that pack. We pulled seven players, so that's about a quarter or a little bit more than a quarter of our roster that has been replaced by, you know, getting rid of all the bronze and silver guys. And uh, I'll quickly go through the lineups. And you guys can let me know as well in the comments where the players should be. I kind of just threw them all onto the team so you guys can help generate me some lines. So first line, Kreider, Richardson, Reeves. Some new guys there, Grigorenko, as well as Terry and Fraze uh, from the last pack, I guess. Slepyshev, Spooner, Hoffman, as well as Mitchell, Lamasari, and Burglar. I kind of want to keep Mitchell on the fourth line. I kind of want all my centers to at least be able to take base off. So that is kind of what I want to suggest to you guys. If you're building me a line, at least leave in the centermen uh, the way they are. As well as the defense, it's looking really good, actually. Getting rid of all those bronze and silver guys as well. Seidenberg, Polak, Ristolainen, Party, Koliakovo, and Foline on our defensive uh, spots. The only thing we really need is to get rid of Frank Kuz, somewhere third and fourth lines, and we're pretty much good to go uh, for, I mean, even Division 5 or 4, we're pretty much good to go. So anyways, that is about it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave it a like. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.
Paul Martin. Oh, there you go. We got a new card there. Uh, I think it's Hesse. Uh, oh, there it is. I just clear the game for Robin Lane. Oh.